Good people, good people. What's happening? How y'all doing today, man? It's a, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? What's happening? What are we going to talk about today? What, what's on tap today? I'm taking all questions. We, we, we live today. Um, I always got stuff to talk about. I always got topics and stuff like that. But I'm going to leave it. We're going to talk about how Dallas Cowboys, how terrible they looked last night versus the Cardinals. They look terrible. They look so terrible. I think that the Cowboys might be in trouble, trouble. Like they was in trouble with that. They they look to be in trouble, trouble. Um, I don't. So this is the thing. It, can we? I, I remember last year, year before that. Every so often, Cowboys fans they come. What's up, Claude? What's good, bro? Uh, Cowboys fans, they be talking. They be like, Jason Garrett is the worst. He's terrible. He's this. He's that. Jay, I hate Jason Garrett. You know, we just got to get a new coach. We just got to. And I was telling people, I was like, look, relax. Pump the brakes. It's not all Jason Garrett's fault. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, it's not Jason Garrett all the way. It's just he's a good coach. He's not the best coach, but he's above average. You know? Just relax. And people were like, no, young Jason Garrett, he got to go, and he's terrible, and I don't even know why we got him, and is anybody can do better than him, and like, I just want a different coach, and then they got Mike McCarthy, and I was like, look, you know, Mike McCarthy's a past happy type of guy, and I'm telling you, he's not really, I, Claude, I say the same thing, bro, I was like, he's not really an upgrade over Jason Garrett, he... He's not a terrible head coach, but his philosophy can put you in a problematic positions. The same ones that Jason Garrett was putting y'all in, right? And so, I mean, who's to blame now? Kellen Moore? Y'all going to blame Kellen Moore? I, I just, what, what Jason Garrett is good at, and I think people took it for granted. And this is different from Mike McCarthy. Because anybody, everybody knows when Mike McCarthy was the coach of the Green Bay Packers, him and Aaron Rodgers was always getting into it. They would just always beef and what they should do. It was always this uh, sentiment that they should be running the ball more. And you got to run the ball more. And you we don't have a running back and a running game. And it's just all on Aaron Rodgers' shoulders all the time. And it was, that was always the criticism of Mike McCarthy. And you bring him here, and somehow, miraculously, people expect Zeke to just play out of this world when Mike McCarthy's philosophy in the system doesn't even cater to Ezekiel Elliott. Like, it's not catering to him. It's catering more to the passing game. And the fact that you don't have Dak Prescott, people was mad at him. Dak, you got to run more. You got to do all of this. Like, that's not Mike McCarthy's system. So, I mean, you got what you got. I don't want to hear no crying and, oh, well, well I wish, uh, you know, uh, no. I don't want to hear none of it. You got who you got. And the Cowboys, are trying, well, I mean, as a Washington football team fan, I really can't, I, I really can't just talk crazy either because when you think about it, we sorry too. This week, y'all going to beat us though. I'm telling you, y'all going to beat us. I haven't. I had to send my picks into the show early this week because I, I won't be on. But uh, yeah, I think I think y'all might get us this week. Dallas might get to watch the football team this week. Yeah, they definitely might get us. Yeah. They got y'all got more talent. That's a fact. Um, the coaching about 50-50. It's about even. Uh, run game. Y'all got Zeke. So I mean, Zeke fumbled twice last night. They, the fact that Mike McCarthy took him out the game and then just Jason Garrett would have never did that. Like he would have allowed him to be out there to redeem himself. I was shocked at that. 
I was shocked. Yeah, Jerry, oh, bro, Jerry, look, if, like, if a report came out today, like, Jerry passed away, I would not be, like, surprised, though. He is old. That my face wrinkly. Or he, the fact that he made it this far is nothing short of a miracle, though. So, I, you got, you got it there. I, I don't, I mean, and I know this, I know his son is, is really involved more in, in the decision that's made, but this Mike McCarthy hire is going to come back to haunt them, though. It's not, it wasn't a good hire. It was not a good hire. And you're not going to hear Cowboys fans say anything about it yet. But, yeah, you no, know, I mean, and, and it is, that's another thing, too. Look, the defense looks terrible. Again, another Mike McCarthy knock to him. He's never really had solidified defenses. Them years when the, when the Aaron Rodgers and them, they was frying on offense. Defense was always suspect. And here it is again. Everybody try all these Cowboys. You don't got defense real young. We got Vander Esch and these dudes. You know, we gonna be. T we got all these pass rushers and woo woo. And yeah, of course y'all experience some injuries, which all teams do. But the defense is young. Y'all giving up just as many points as the Jets. And the Jets are terrible. So I'm trying to figure out what's the what's the excuses for the Cowboys fans. What are the excuses? Because I don't... I, I, I'm all out of excuses. What's up, Seth? I, I, I don't know what... Cowboys fans, where y'all at? Slim? Talk to me. Is McCarthy some trash or not? I need to know. Jerry? I mean, the thing is... So, Jerry Jones put a squad together, though. I mean, as the GM, all you can do is put a similar pieces. I mean, they didn't sign they didn't sign Dak and give him the bread yet. That that can't, I mean, I don't know. Some people think they, they ended up good not giving him the bread prematurely and then him experiencing that injury. There's a lot of people that think they lucked out with that move. But hey, no, it's a it's a it's a lot of knocks to McCarthy. It's a lot of knocks. You know, he, to me, he's a he's a C level coach, C plus level coach. Like he can run a run a, a football team, and he's competent enough to to actually put a football product on the field. But. I, me personally, this is my and, and you can go back. This is why I love having a podcast because I can tell Bamas to go back and check the tapes. Like I can be like, yeah, go check the tapes. I told people, and maybe D two said it on the show. Dog, Mike McCarthy's not an upgrade. He's not an upgrade from Jason Garrett. Yeah, he he not. He not gonna make an average team better. He's not an upgrade. He's a, like, I mean, well, I'll say this. I didn't anticipate it going the way it's going now. Like, I didn't anticipate the record they have, them getting the doors blown off their backside every game. Like, I, I just didn't anticipate this. I, I, I'll i be honest with you. I didn't anticipate. I thought McCarthy was competent enough to at least have his team in a position where they will win games. I, th I thought up to this point, they might be 500 as a record. You know, but we six games in, so three and three. I thought it'd be three and three, you know. Um, but they are getting punished. The Cardinals like ran through the Cowboys. I ain't even never seen the Cardinals defense be as prolific as it was last. Like their defense was getting sacks, they was doing their picks. I ain't seen that the Cardinals defense explode like that. It got to be at least like five years, bro. It got to be like five years since the Cardinals D was was anything um, on, a, on a football field. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, now I'm with you, Seth. Like, the division is terrible. The division is terrible. And there's really no excuses for it. But going into the whole thing, I knew Washington football team, despite how Bama's get hyped, I was excited about the defensive line. I was like, oh, yeah, the D-line going to be real. Okay, all right, all right. Come to find out, they C-plus level, you know. Um, but I knew the offense was going to be a work in progress. I knew Hassan's a work in progress. I knew it was going to be struggles offensively for them. I knew Rivera wasn't really – he's not really an offensive center coach. He's more defensive center. So I expected the defense to be better, which it has been. Um, but but the offense has looked pu putrid, if I pronounce that correctly. Um, but the Eagles – I thought the Eagles would be a little bit better than they than they've shown us to be, but they've been trash. They've actually, I I think too, they've been they've had bad matchups too. The Eagles, because I think they play play pretty well considering what they've had. I mean, they've had injuries at the wide receiver position and stuff like that, and they they've made games close. So, um, you know, but they they just had some bad matchups. Um, Washington trash, Dallas trash. I, Giant, the Giants have played tough games, but they just they 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 kind of fall into the same category with with Washington football team. It's just the talent, just not once once uh uh the running back went down, Saquon went down. I just knew it was gonna be tough sledding for them. Um, plus I said it too. They got issues when they had, when you got. Three head coaches on your team. That's just it's hard to like kind of who do you listen to? Uh, I think Jason Garrett will be the be the uh, the coach of that team soon enough. Like I, I just I mean I just I see that that transition happening. Um, yeah, Daniel Jones. He he trash. Um, I mean Kyle Allen trash. Yeah. It, it, yeah, the NFC East is bad. I think the Giants play. Did the Did the Giants play the Eagles this week? And the and the Washington plays Dallas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it, yeah, it's it's been a tough, tough year so far for Washingtonians, man. You know. But uh, yeah, but I, I guess like I can take some. Some some soulless in, in knowing that the Dallas Cowboys, like, if we won A trash, the Dow, Dallas Cowboys is one B trash. Their defense worse than ours. I don't care what nobody say. Their defense is a is an oven on four fifty bake, dog. It, it, they their defense. I think I saw the stat. They giving up eighty points in three games, dog. That is, that's terrible. That NFC least. <laughs> yeah, Dan, I'm with you, bro. Trevor Lawrence. But it's the thing, he not, listen. The fortunes of Washington football team have never been great, though. Like, like, we ruin quarterbacks here. Even if we got Trevor Lawrence, I'm just somehow, some way, we just going to destroy it. Like I, I don't, I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah. We gonna watch this game, Washington. I think the final score of the game will be 21-24 Cowboys. Yeah, 21 24 Cowboys. I think the Cowboys are going to get us. That's my score prediction. Um, I think next time I come on here, I'm going to just talk about childbirth. You know, I just went through that whole process. I, I I got a lot of thoughts, you know. I got a lot of thoughts. Um, but we're going to say that for for another live. Because I'll be on this jump two and a half, three, four hours talking about child, childbirth. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, no, listen. If I'm Trevor Lawrence, I'm pulling a Manning Joe. I'm like, I'm not going. I'm pulling a uh who who was it that uh refused to go to the team he was drafted to? 
I think that might have been Eli Manning was like, no, I'm not going to the uh, Chargers. Like, no. I'm doing whatever I can do. Whatever I can do. I'm telling them, young, don't draft me. Do not draft me, Jets. First of all, this is the thing. Only way I want to get drafted by the Jets, this is the only way. I'm telling you, if I'm Trevor Lawrence, this is what I'm gonna say. And you gotta start it early, cause this is how you, this is how you yoke the uh, the chains of the media. This is what you do, Trevor Lawrence. I'm about to give you the formula. Leading up to the draft, you leak. If the Jets still have Adam Gase, I'm not playing for the Jets. That's what you, you had that leaked. You don't say it where they can like put you. You don't put it on Twitter, nothing like that. You haven't leaked, or you have it like come out in a tweet and then you retract it and then you say somebody hacked your account that's i'm telling you this is the formula to get your way you have it come out you retract it you know you hit them with the ah uh, young yeah. dog somebody hacked my account i would never say that blah 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 and then all the all the pondic correspondence they gonna all talk well do you think it was leaked like what kind of but i don't blame him if he did say this like it's true adam gates has just ran his franchise into the ground and woo, woo, woo. they all gonna talk about it they just gonna talk talking about it heavy yeah do like donald trump do link it to the russians automatic so then so then the, the report's gonna be out there it's gonna be a whole bunch of fodder then they're gonna be asking you you know, you go to your Lord, your, uh, your uh, what's it, workout, pro workout day. You kill in a pro workout. You don't do none of the other stuff. You don't do combine. You don't do none of that stuff. You don't do none of that stuff. You just do a private workout. You throw passes, you know, in a, in a, in a, in a secluded room with, with, with uh, receivers. And then that's it. And then you do like a little interview with one Bama. You get like a, a Bucky Brooks or... Or, or uh, what's the, what's my man name, yeah? Uh, uh, Davis, cause you know we we repping the black the black dudes. So we you do it with uh, what's his name? Davis, the uh, the the uh, commentators do. One of them dudes. Or you can even rock with uh, my man. I rock with uh, what's his name? He tough. Uh, not Mayock, cause Mayock don't do the job no more. What's the other dude? Uh, the white the white dude. Rich eyes and somebody like that. Only them Bamas, dog. Only them three. We want only them three. You get it. You do a private interview with them. And you know they're going to act because they're going to kind of prep you for the jump. So they're going to ask you the question, did you leak? Everybody wants to know. You just, And then that's when you say, you be like, look, I want to win. I want to go to, I, I, like any team that I go to that drafts me, I'm going to I'm gonna look to win. Because you probably just going to get the number one pick. I'm just telling you. Them Bamas, sorry. They're going all at 16. Facts. You go and you be like, look, I want everybody to know, like, I just been really considering and thinking about it. And I'm not sure, like, if the Jets is the best place for me to be. Fact, just like that. And it's like, because the way the organization, like, I want to go to an organization that has. Only way you're going to the Jets is if Adam Gates is out of there. That's it. If they get be enemy or somebody like that, then you can go to the Jets and just be happy, bro. Cause he's gonna take care of you. But if the situation ain't right, you got all the power in your hands, though. You got all the power in your hands, all the leverage. All the leverage. You can tell them about I'm gonna sit out, whatever. They gonna do it for you. Cause you're you're a once in a generation prospect, bro. So they gonna do it for you. They wouldn't do it for, for me or, or Lamar Jackson or any none of them. They not doing it for them. But they'll do it for you, bro. You can you can do what you want to do, just like the beginning a uh, uh, living color theme song. You can do what you want to do. I'm telling you, bro. Trevor, you got all the power in your hands to do what you want to do. You just let him know. So, it's up to you, bro. It's up to you. I wouldn't go to the Jets. I won't play for the Jets right now. If they were like, look, we bring you on, we give you sign, give you a five year deal for five million, whatever, I wouldn't play for them, dog. Mm-mm. Oh. Nope. Mm-mm. So, if I was you, Trevor, I told you the formula, dog. Leak something on the sly. 
come behind and like, oh no, I don't know, blah blah. Have everybody else say what you you saying. Like, even the reports. Oh, I talked to someone close to Trevor. He says that he's not going to the Jets. If the Jets draft him, he said that he's not playing. Like, have it that way, dog. Just don't let them hear you say it. But yeah, so that that's all I got for the day. Y'all be safe. Y'all be easy, man. God bless y'all. And I holler.